Nuclear fusion has captured our imaginations for decades. The idea of replicating the process that powers stars to create a clean and limitless energy source is undeniably exciting. And this power is a power that Einstein believed would one day power all aspects of our lives, from our power grids to even our planes and rockets. And in recent weeks, it seems as though his vision has come true with the Proton engine, an engine that uses the fusion of hydrogen nuclei to generate power. But let's start this video off with our boy, Albi. You see, in 1929, Einstein, alongside his collaborator, W. Heisenberg, published a paper titled On the Theory of Radiation. Within its pages, they laid the foundation for understanding how stars generate their immense energy. This revolutionary theory proposed that the immense heat and pressure within a star's core could cause hydrogen nuclei protons to fuse, releasing a tremendous amount of energy in the process. This energy, in the form of light and heat, is what powers the stars and ultimately sustains life on Earth. Einstein, ever the visionary, recognized the potential of replicating this stellar process here on Earth. He envisioned harnessing the power of nuclear fusion to create a clean and virtually limitless source of energy. One potential application he explored was the development of a proton engine for spacecraft propulsion. This engine, in theory, would use the energy released from proton fusion to propel spaceships at speeds unimaginable with conventional chemical rockets. Imagine hurling through the vast expanse of space, not at the pace of current rockets, but at speeds approaching the speed of light. The possibilities for interstellar travel and exploration became tantalizingly close with this theoretical power. Now Einstein's vision, however, was far ahead of its time. The technology required to achieve sustained nuclear fusion remained elusive. The immense temperatures and pressures needed to initiate and maintain the fusion reaction were beyond the capabilities of the materials and engineering knowledge of the era. Despite this, Einstein's work planted a seed, a spark of inspiration that would continue to ignite the imaginations of scientists and engineers for decades to come. You see, if possible, nuclear fusion holds immense potential. It offers a clean, sustainable alternative to fossil fuels and even current nuclear fusion technology. However, achieving sustained fusion is a complex scientific and engineering challenge. Scientists haven't yet built a functional fusion reactor, let alone miniaturized versions to power vehicles or spacecraft. Enter Rocket Star, a startup founded in 2021. Now their goal since day one was creating a nuclear fusion propulsion engine. Now Rocket Star's design is based on proton fusion of hydrogen nuclei through a funnel-shaped magnetic field. The protons are injected into the wide end of the funnel and then compressed as they approach the narrow end, reaching extremely high temperatures and densities as they are funneled through. This fusion releases large amounts of energy that is converted into a plasma jet directed outwards at high speed. This energy provides thrust to rockets without the need for chemical propellants. Now, the advantage of this is that fusion fuel, which here is hydrogen, is virtually limitless. And in the long term, it might even be used in vehicles. By the way, the thumbnail and how this engine would actually look is completely different. Sorry for the clickbait, but my channel is mostly car related, so this probably wouldn't get any clicks if I put in the real engine. But here's how the engine would theoretically look if it was possible to build. So yeah, here's a picture. Let me know if you thought I made a mistake and I should have used this rocket instead of the engine I did use. Anyways, if this works, this seems amazing. But here's the question, does it work? Well, as Rocket Star themselves say, the project is in its very early stages and a working prototype does not yet exist. And according to mainstream science, a working prototype wouldn't be possible. You see, the primary hurdle in achieving nuclear fusion lies in replicating the conditions found within a star's core. Here, temperatures soar to the millions of degrees Celsius and the pressure is immense. At these extremes, hydrogen atoms are stripped of their electrons, forming a hot, charged gas called plasma. 
The challenge lies in containing and manipulating this superheated plasma long enough for fusion to occur and to efficiently extract this energy released. Now people have tried to replicate this. Early attempts at fusion research focused on magnetic confinement. Powerful magnetic fields were used to create a bottle to hold the plasma. However, maintaining the stability of plasma and preventing it from touching the walls of the chamber, which would cool it down and stop the reaction, proved to be a significant challenge. Now, as Rocketstar has indeed built a prototype, I can't say for certain whether it works or not, but I can say that most would dispute the possibility of it being used in any sort of transport anytime soon. The materials needed to contain such heat just don't exist at the moment, or let me say we don't know of any way to contain and then successfully control such power. But hey, we never know. Maybe just maybe in a few years they reveal a working engine that opens many doors in the future. But at the end of the video, please let me know what you thought of the video number one and what you think of this technology and do you think that it would work in the future. Let me know down below. If you guys enjoyed this video, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel. And if you guys did like it, you'll most like most of my other stuff. So just go through my channel, see if there's something else you like. I'll check you guys in the next one. Cheers, I.